Today we're going to talk about how to make a boomerang. Basic boomerang, two-wing boomerang. This one is a pattern that I usually use for, um, for running the router. We're going to talk about two different versions today. The quick and dirty way with all the tools. You can buy the tools anywhere, but you have to develop the skills on your own. So what we're going to do is we've got the patterns drawn out on the plywood. This is Baltic birch plywood, five layer. And it's uh, hardwood all the way through with a marine grade glue, so it uh, is very durable. So I'm going to use a bandsaw to cut this out. Okay, now you'll notice that I didn't worry too much about getting right on the line because I'm going to use a router to uh, shape this out. And the router is set over here. I have a, <clears throat> um, I have a half inch. This is a um, Freud router set up in a table that I built myself. And I've got a, um, let's see, I think that's a 3 8 maybe a 5 16 round over bit set to the right height so that it'll it'll just round over the wood. I'm going to set the pattern onto the plywood and the little holes where where the screw comes through have already been pushed into it a little bit a little bit so that I can get it exactly where I need to. Tap it with a hammer so that it sets. This is going to make some noise. So I'm going to follow the bead with the pattern and it will make the shape that I need for the boomerang. So now we have our basic outside shape and it, and it has a little bit of a round over. So we have already started the leading edge. Now if I wanted to make a left handed boomerang I would cut a, uh, an airfoil on the back side on this side of the wing and on this side of the wing to make it left handed. But I'm going to make this one right handed so I'll put a, an airfoil here and on the inside here. And I have another bit that will do the airfoil and it's on this router. This is a Hitachi three horse half inch plunge router that I built up into a table. This is a nice aluminum deck for it, which um, uh, holds it nice and steady. So now you can see the airfoil has been cut into the to the trailing edge here and the trailing edge here so that as the boomerang spins it will generate lift. And if I want to uh, put a little bit of undercut here I can do that with a, with a sander. I have a belt sander over here. I will turn that on. The undercut on the trailing on the leading edge of the lead wing will cause it to flatten out a little bit better as it comes back around to you so that it'll have a nice easy hover for flight. And now I want to smooth this up. It's a little bit rough. So I have this other sander here. This is a pneumatic sander. I'm going to slide this out where I can get to it. We can get the cameraman back up just a little bit. And around there. 
this this side has um, a 120 grit belt and this side is a 180 grit belt so I start up the pneumatic sander You notice that the grain of the wood runs across the, the angle so that it gives it strength. It also allows me to sand it smooth without running across the grain. So now I'm going to come to the 180 grit. <clears throat> so now we have a nice smooth boomerang and it would be ready to put some finish on and it's completely done a little bit of undercut here and we're ready to go